Sometimes you'll come up to the track K3 mil and go to adjust your tool height by moving the quill up and down. And you make sure that the quill is unlocked and you can move the quill up and down freely with the hand lever on the right side of the headstock like you normally would. And then if you go to engage the fine adjust hand wheel, you'll find it may be really difficult to turn and you have to like, it almost feels like something stuck or grinding and you have to put some muscle into it. That fine adjust hand wheel should be so freely moving that you can just thread it with fingertip pressure to move it up and down and move the quill up and down and you see the quill lever following. But on this machine, it's really hard to move. And that's because this little knob in the center of the fine adjust hand wheel is actually a direction selector for a power feed that's built into the machine. And it has got bumped into one of the engaged positions. So right now it's really hard to turn. The positions for this knob are out all the way in or in the middle is neutral. So right now it's pulled all the way out. So if I pop this in a little bit to the neutral position, now when I turn this, I have that same fingertip movement on the handle. And you see the, the quill handle on the right side moving and you see the quill moving up and down. You see the Z number on the DRO changing. And then again, if I pop this either in or out to one of the engaged positions, it gets really hard to turn again. That's because this is engaging a gearbox that will feed the quill down automatically for you. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So in order to engage that, on the upper right side of the headstock, there's this uh, plaque for power feed and usually we should leave the machines disengaged. So right now, if I turn the spindle on, the spindle will spin and none of this stuff is moving. I'm gonna turn the spindle off. I'm gonna engage the Z power feed gearbox. So the pull the knob out, swing over to the right to engage. Now when I run the motor, you see the handles moving. So the handles moving in the direction that corresponds to this little peg that's popped out. So I'm gonna disengage it again. Turn the spindle off. Now I'm, in order to switch the direction, I'm gonna pop this little button in all the way. And now when you run the spindle, it runs the other direction. So now if I were to engage the power feed, it would be threading the, the spindle upwards instead of downwards to put it in, back in the neutral position. You have to find the middle spot so that it spins freely. And then when the spindle's running, this doesn't actually engage. Um, the hand wheel only spins when this is engaged. This should normally be in disengaged, but even with this lever disengaged, if this is popped into one of the positions, it will make it very difficult to turn the hand wheel. So you gotta make sure this little button is in the center position. So when you engage the fine adjust, then it moves by hand.